today we are going to show you how to true a tricon wheel, how to replace a spoke on a tricon wheel and how to rebuild a wheel. Before we can start building the wheel, we have to prepare the spokes. In our case, we have different spoke types, new arrow and arrow light, and we have different lengths for crossed spokes and for radial spokes. First thing is to apply Loctite screw security glue on the short thread of the spoke. Now we can thread it into the hub. Take care to screw in the spoke all the way until you feel the resistance increasing. Now align the spoke in riding direction in Fahrtrichtung ausgerichtet werden. Repeat this step on all radial spokes on this side. Now we can take the slightly longer crossed spoke, apply the, apply the glue on the thread again, auf die Seite mit dem kürzeren Gewinde, and thread it into the hub on the left side of the radial spoke. Again, it's important to screw in the spoke all the way until you feel resistance increasing. Now you align the spoke in riding direction. Repeat this step on all four crossed spokes. To finish the first side, we take again the slightly longer crossed spoke, apply the glue and thread it in so that the spoke comes over the already mounted crossed spoke. Repeat this process on all four remaining spokes. The first side is finished. We can turn the hub over and repeat the process on this side. Make sure you use the correct spokes. In this case, Aerolite. To finish the spoke tree, we take the last remaining spoke and screw it into the hub. The spoke tree is finished. Now we can start preparing the rim and the rim inserts. Before we can place the rim insert in the rim, we have to add special 
did the Swiss crease to the insert, add the nipple and check if it's turning properly. Finally, we place the plastic nipple holder over the nipple and put it aside. Before we can assemble the spoke tree with the rim, we have to align it. Make sure one of the wider spaces is aligned with the valve hole. Next, we take the previously prepared inserts and place them in the rim. Hang them in loosely. We can now connect the spokes with the nipples. Take the first spoke, place it inside of the plastic nipple holder, catch the thread and turn it for one or two turns. Repeat this step on all plastic nipple holders available. Take care not to scratch the rim with the remaining loose spokes. Now we can remove the plastic nipple holder. The spoke tree is connected to the rim and we can start increasing the spoke tension slowly. Therefore, we can place the wheel in the drawing stand. Use the correct Torx spoke key to increase the spoke tension. Screw the nipple onto the spoke until there is only one thread visible. Repeat this step on all spokes. When reaching the initial spoke tension, the rim inserts will pop into place. Carry on increasing the spoke tension slowly and equally on all spokes. When reaching 50% of the maximum spoke tension, the wheel has to be de-stressed for the first time. This process must be repeated four to five times before finishing. After clamping the wheel in the truing stand, we can check the runout of the wheel. Und analysieren den Rundlauf sowie den Seitenschlag. To carry out truing work, we have to use our DT Swiss tools. In this case, we have different spokes on the left and on the right hand side. Unterschiedliche Speichentypen hat. Here we have the new Aero spoke and the Aero Light spoke. Aero -Light speicher. It's important to properly place the spoke key and to slide the spoke holder down all the way. gibt es hier Beschädigungsgefahr für die Speicher. When finished truing the wheel, 
We have to de-stress the wheel. Therefore, we take it out of the truing stand, remove the RWS, and de-stress the wheel. And drücken das Laufrad ab. Hierbei von jeder Seite mehrmals abdrücken. De-stress the wheel from both sides until it is stable. After de-stressing the wheel a last time, it has to be mounted in the stand again. Spoke tension has to be checked on all spokes if they have changed. Lateral and radial runout have to be within specification. If everything is correct, the wheel is finished. Please take care to follow all safety instructions when mounting the wheel in the bike. We from DT Swiss wish you a good ride.